calories don't count during the holidays. Woo! And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today is going to be part three of my Christmas slash holiday recipes trilogy, if you will. Today is part three, which means I already have two videos out of holiday recipes that are vegan, of course. I'm gonna link those down below, as well as my holiday recipes playlist from previous years and previous recipes, because I do have a few videos out at this point. For this year, this is the third video. Very exciting Christmas recipes, okay? This one is gonna be focused on sides, okay? Sides are just as important when it comes to a holiday dinner. So we're gonna make three different sides. I'm very excited. These are not really like super revolutionary, but they should be some good ideas for you guys to make. Before we get started, if you guys need the written recipes for any of these, if you need the measurements, it'll all be linked in a blog post down below. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna make is gonna be a roasted veggie dish. Of course, we always need some kind of veggie dish, but this time I wanted to top it with some coconut bacon. You guys, the first time I tried coconut bacon, I was blown away, okay? It's actually really easy. So I have some coconut flakes here. These are unsweetened coconut flakes. Ooh la la. We're now this into a mixing bowl, okay? Mm -hmm. By the way, we have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. So we're gonna add a bunch of like different seasonings to make this delicious. First, I have soy sauce, okay? I'm gonna actually add all the sauce ingredients into a separate bowl and mix that together first. So we're gonna add some soy sauce. Perfect. We also have some maple syrup, of course. And very important, we have liquid smoke, which is gonna give it that smokiness, okay? You can find this in like the barbecue sauce section. I remember I had such a hard time finding liquid smoke, but I found it and I'm happy. We're also going to add some vegetable oil, just like any vegetable oil. Mix it, perfect. So now we have our sauce. We're just gonna pour it into our lovely coconut flakes and then just mix it. Mm -hmm. Just mix it really well. Make sure it's nice and coated. Okay, I'm just trying to mix it like super well because some of the sauce is just going to the bottom. So now I'm just gonna place it on a lined baking sheet. Get all of that, all of that. Let's not waste it. I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm just going to cook it for 12 minutes total, but I'm gonna toss it halfway. Okay. All right guys, so while we're waiting for the coconut bacon to cook, we can now make the green beans and broccoli. So I'm just gonna chop off the ends of the green beans, of course. Of course, they're already washed. Just chop the ends off. And then we're gonna chop some broccoli. I like to always also eat the stems because they're also very nutritious. So why not? So now we have the broccoli and green beans. Now let's go to our pan. I'm going to add a bit of oil. Ooh, it's a little hot. I'm gonna add minced garlic. I already have minced garlic because of my garlic hack. If you don't know my garlic hack, I'm gonna link my video down below. Ooh, it is very hot. I feel like I should. <laughs> this is gonna burn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it in there. Cooking the garlic with the residual heat of the oil. All right. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now we're gonna just add in our veggies. Water, water, I need water. All right, I'm gonna add in a little splash of water. Of course I'm burning my garlic as usual. Like, is there anyone out there that like doesn't burn garlic on a regular basis? Because I'd like to meet that person. You shouldn't burn your garlic. I'm like, how? How do you not burn your garlic? Cook that up. I like to add in splashes of water. Let's cook this. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it up and cook it. So it's been about 10 minutes, and look at this, guys. It's looking glorious, but I just keep adding a little bit of water at a time until the green beans have cooked. That's my solution. I don't know if people do things differently, but just add little bits of water. Just check up on it every couple of minutes, but it's looking nice and delicious. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, it probably is gonna be a few more minutes. Cover it back up. Okay, so it's pretty much done, but I'm gonna add in some lemon juice. Now, fresh lemon juice would probably be better, but I don't have any, so I'm just using whatever lemon juice. 
at the end here. This is gonna add some more flavor, really enhance the flavors. And lemon juice is a great way of adding in flavor without adding in too, too much sodium. I also believe it also um, enhances vitamin absorption and all that stuff, but you know, I'm not a nutritionist, so don't listen to me. So I'm also gonna add in some salt. I'm also gonna add a final little touch. This part is optional. If you want a little kick though, I'm gonna add in some crushed red peppers. Ooh, mm-hmm, lovely. All right, we're gonna plate it and then we're gonna top it with that coconut bacon. Oh my God, doesn't it look so good? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I added like a whole bunch of that coconut bacon because it's really delicious. Let's just taste test. What a fun little side dish. Mmm, that lemon really kicks up the flavor. Mmm, mmm, a little spicy. So if you can't handle spice, don't add the crushed red pepper. Delicious. I do feel like if we add a little bit of sugar or maple syrup, maybe at the very end to this concoction, it tastes better. So that's one thing that you might want to consider. But either way, very delicious and highly recommend. Okay. All right, you guys. So the next side dish, we're gonna make some maple glazed carrots. Oh my gosh, guys, doesn't that sound delicious? It's super easy and simple, so let's get started. So first I have some peeled carrots over here. I tried to find the really kind of like cute ones, like the little ones that are like not the baby carrots, but not like the giant carrots, but like the me medium sized. Couldn't find it, don't know. Maybe I need to go to some bougie store, you know? But we can cut this up nicely. So I'm just gonna kinda just cut it in an angle. Doesn't have to be complicated, okay? So now I'm just gonna put them in a baking safe pan. Bake safe pan, oven safe. Oven safe pan. You. Now that we have our Carrots, nice and chopped. I'm actually just gonna add little dollops of vegan butter. You can actually mix it in if you want, but it's just gonna melt nicely anyways. And then I have here a little bit of uh, light brown golden sugar, I think, or coconut sugar, brown sugar, you can use whichever one. And then maple syrup. We're gonna mix these two together. I mean, there's no way this isn't gonna be good, right? <laughs> We're literally adding in vegan butter, tons of sugar, maple syrup. It's gonna be delicious. Very exciting. I mean, there's some chunks in there, but I feel like it's fine. So I'm just gonna pour that in. <sighs> you guys, it's gonna be so good. All right, I'm just gonna try to mix it as best as I can, just to make sure we're getting that, all that goodness everywhere. Mmm, oh my God, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> when in doubt, add fat and sugar. We need to add a little bit of salt, not a little bit. You can always add more later. We're also gonna add some parsley just to add a little something, something. Look at that. All right guys, so now I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes. I'm probably gonna toss it in between. Probably gonna be around 30 to 40 minutes depending on, I don't know, depending on a lot of things, okay? <music> The carrots, oh my God, they look so good. What I did was at the very end, once the carrots were almost done, I decided to broil it for like, just like a few minutes, just to get it nice and charred. You know that charred look, you know? Some people call it burnt, but the fancy people call it charred. Okay, at the end here, I'm gonna add a little bit more parsley. We're gonna add a little bit of parsley. Doesn't that look glorious? Let's give it a try. It's probably gonna be really hot, but, ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Why is it so good? It tastes like candy. Oh my god. Are carrots supposed to be like candy? <laughs> this might be criminal. If you want to turn carrots into candy, make this. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my god. It's like sticky. This is so good. I feel like carrots aren't supposed to taste like this, but they're so good. Mmm. I don't think I need to add anything else. I can't stop. I really can't stop. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh my God. 
So now we are at our third recipe. Woohoo! So we're gonna make creamed corn. Fun and exciting, can't wait. And it's very easy to make vegan. Basically what I wanna do is mainly show you guys that it's really easy to make vegan food. Just a few little swaps are needed, okay? I have here a pan, it's heating up. We're gonna add some vegan butter. Thank God for vegan butter nowadays. It is delicious. We're gonna add some vegan butter. And then, ooh, look at that. As you can see, I'm being very generous with my uh, butter because it's Christmas, okay? Calories don't count during the holidays. Woo! We're also gonna add in some diced onion. Initially, I wanted to make like vegan Korean cheesy corn, but I think I'll save that for another recipe because it's not as like holiday-ish. We're just gonna, oh my God, I'm just dropping onions everywhere, fantastic. I discovered recently that I'm like, I mean, I kind of knew this already, but I'm like a really messy eater, but I'm also a really messy cook. Like everything is just everywhere whenever I cook. So we're just gonna cook this with the vegan butter just for a little bit, just until the onions start to soften a little. Ooh, lovely. Now we're gonna add in some flour. This is gonna create a nice little roux, make it nice and creamy. Mm. Next, we're gonna add in some salt, and then we're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes. Ooh, look at that, it already looks good. Now we're gonna add our corn. Now you can use canned corn, but frozen corn is like better because you get like a big bag of it. So I'm just gonna add some corn. Mix that. So traditionally, creamed corn calls for like heavy cream and stuff like that, obviously creamed corn. Obviously, we're not using cream, but guess what guys? We have our, our own version of cream, which is full fat coconut milk. Woohoo! Fun times. This is actually very much separated and thickened up. Ooh, ooh. I mean, should I just add the whole thing? YOLO. I'm just gonna add the whole can. I was gonna like measure it out, but YOLO. Did I not say calories don't count during the holiday season? <laughs> me, 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 me. We're just gonna let this melt. Might take a few moments. See, I'm telling you guys, every time I need my coconut milk to be separated, it's never separated, and every time I don't necessarily need it to be separated, it's always separated. Does this happen to anybody else? Mix it, mix it. Let this come to a nice soft boil here. Well, while we're waiting for this to come to a boil, I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme. We're just gonna do a teaspoon for now. I don't want it to overpower too, too much. We're also gonna add sugar, woohoo! Did I not say when in doubt, add fat and sugar? It's always a good idea. So I'm just gonna mix this and then we're gonna allow this to come to a nice boil. Mm. All right guys, the mixture was a bit thinner than I wanted. So what I did was I actually added in a little bit more flour. So all I did was just add a little bit of flour into a small bowl and then just add in a little bit of water and then just mixed it to make a paste. And then I added it in here. Otherwise it might get a little bit clumpy. So that thickened up the liquid a little bit. And I decided I'm gonna add a little bit more corn. Did I say a little bit? Take a shot every time I say a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna add in some more corn because I feel like I think we can get away with adding some more corn. Me, 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 me. Ooh, look at that, you guys. Oh my God. And let me just give this a little taste. Mmm, it's so good. Nice and sweet, but also flavorful. Because I thought, I was like, do I need to add more flavor? But this just tastes good, like, on its own like this. Mm. It's that vegan butter deliciousness. I mean, this looks so good. So I'm just gonna let this cook for a few minutes and then I think it's pretty much done. This one's super easy, you guys. Look at this, oh my God, it looks so good. Like I'm dying. Look at that, ooh. And I feel like it's gonna thicken up more once it cools down, but it's looking delicious. So simple. Oh my God. I feel like you can also make like corn chowder just using very similar method but just obviously more liquid, less corn, maybe a few other ingredients. I mean, this looks so good. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. everyone so this completes my christmas recipes 
trilogy. I hope you enjoyed the trilogy. I have so much food now. I'm so excited. I hope you guys try all of these out. If you do, make sure you take a little photo and maybe tag me on Instagram. If you guys haven't checked out my last two videos, which is the nut roast, oh my god, it's so good, and also the very delicious roasted butternut squash and pepper pasta recipe, you must try it. Okay, you must check it out. Link down below is going to be those two videos as well as my holiday recipes playlist, which is also linked down below so you can have your way at all of the different holiday recipes that I've posted in the past. Anyways, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because you love me, of course, and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are new here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!